Immortalized by artists and writers, the Sacré Coeur at the top of Montmartre draws an increasing number of tourists each year. But the gleaming spires and picture postcard streets mask a darker past. Local historian Jean-François Platé has spent the last 20 years uncovering the obscure and the macabre side of Montmartre. It's 1932, quarter to three, about an hour ago. Two men meet up here. One takes out a revolver and shoots the other one in the back. Two pimps fighting over a prostitute, a deadly brawl, and here a man who killed himself by drinking a bottle of absinthe. Jewish tailor Eli Fitusi, who has worked in the shadow of the church for nearly 40 years, has the sad story of his predecessor's murder to tell. I'm the third generation of tailors in this shop. The first tailor was Jewish like me. In 1940, the Gestapo came to get him. He tried to save himself by running out the back door, which led into a small yard. But the Gestapo was also waiting for him there. Stories like these are what Jean-Francois thrives on. His passion for the past began when he moved here 20 years ago and began to look at local newspaper clippings dating back to the late 19th century. <laughs> What happened here, in my home, or in this street, or in this building I know? We have access to everything nowadays. We can travel anywhere, get information about almost anything imaginable. So finding out something that is not easily accessible, but which tells the story of the very walls you live in, I thought that was very interesting. Jean-Francois's ambitions don't stop at his front window. He has plans to put together a series of booklets for each neighborhood, with anecdotes for every house number. The first installment of 4,000 free issues has already flown off the shelves. Proof that interest for stories from times past are still what give Montmartre much of its allure.